Numbers 26. There's a mention here of how Korah, Dathan and Abiram rebelled against God and they led an awful rebellion and they and 250 others were killed. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together, their families, their supporters. But, verse 11, notwithstanding, the sons of Korah didn't die. They were separate from their father and from the people that were around their father. The whole group that they were in with. The sons of Korah were separate. And when you read the book of Psalms, you come across Psalms that were written by the sons of Korah. So they were different. And you see here an Old Testament example of what Paul says, that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation, and all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We seem inevitably tied and limited and chained by the ties that bind. That, that's genetically how it seems I am. That's how I'm wired. My father was like that, and my grandfather, and my uncles, and yeah, and my brother. That's how I am. You see, in Christ, there is this wonderful new creation whereby you can become new and you are thereby freed from those ties that bind, just as the sons of Korah were different to their father and went another path, as later biblical history shows you they did. So your background does not determine who you are if you are in Christ. You are not a slave of how you were raised. You are free from this. But you've got to allow the spirit, which is the agency of this new creation, to work in you, to make you new. And of course, it's quite scary to become a totally independent person. To become, in a word, yourself. As God intends you to be. Free from all that stuff in your past. It is a brave new world. And it is to some degree a, a scary, lonely experience. Because we would all rather run back to the ties that bind. And only theoretically say, oh yes, I wish they were gone. God wants you as you are. And to create something of beauty. And something unique in you.